Hello, my name is Marius. I'm a friendly virus. This guy just waking up is Fabrice. He's human and rather complicated. I know what I'm talking about. I can get inside all kinds of living things. That's a specialty of viruses. I happen to be a helpful virus, not like most of my colleagues who can make you ill. I'll take you on a trip inside Fabrice's body, where we'll discover the fascinating world of the cell. Okay, here we go! Woo! Ouch! Ouch! You didn't, didn't get, get hurt, hurt, did you? you? Here, here we are inside, inside his mouth. mouth. Back, Back there, there you, you see tissue, tissue made of lots of little cells stuck one to another. Use this lens to see the way cells look through the microscope. Click to see the nuclei in fluorescent blue. That's where I'm taking you, to the nucleus, the very heart of the cell. Ready to go? Then click on me. To get there, first we have to make ourselves very small. Look, this is the membrane. And here is a place where the cell is making little pockets called vesicles. They burrow in to swallow proteins, hormones, and even viruses like me. Let's hitch a ride. Isn't this beautiful? Each thing you see here does a special job. Oh, watch out behind you! Here comes a big mitochondria! Oops, that was a close call. Mitochondria are like miniature power plants. They provide energy for all the work done in the cell. Here, microtubules are lengthening and shortening in order to grab and transport different things from one place to another. This requires a lot of energy, believe me. Ah, here comes a vesicle. Ah, oh, this one smells really bad. It's filled with garbage the cell doesn't need anymore. Look, the vesicle is going to empty itself into a lysosome, sort of a trash can of the cell. Now, if you click with your mouse, you can discover different parts of the cell. Go ahead, this is your chance to become a researcher. Once you have finished your explorations, you can click on me to continue the trip. You are a real expert. You want to learn more about this strange structure called the centrosome? It's a traffic control center that organizes cell division. Here you can see a three-dimensional model. The two cylinders in the middle are centrioles. And these long rods, you have seen them before, the microtubules. They will grab, then pull on the chromosomes to separate them. We'll have a closer look at this process when we visit the nucleus. Okay, are you ready to discover the famous cell nucleus? We'll enter through these pores, which are openings in the envelope around the nucleus. Here, we are deep inside the cell, where the secret of life is hidden. See all those threads and curly cues? That's the genetic material, the chromosomes inherited from your parents, where the color of your eyes is inscribed. All living things are programmed by the chromosomes. Okay, it's your turn to play again. Explore the different forms that genetic material can take. The chromosomes become visible when DNA strands are compressed in preparation for cell division. Here, Two copies of each chromosome's line up. Then, microtubules pull them apart so that each daughter cell inherits identical genetic material. <coughs> Have you finished visiting the nucleus? Hey, what's that? What's happening? What's going on? Hey, Fabrice! I'm going! Stop it! <coughs> Ooh, I'm over here! You! Over here, don't you see me? Look at me!
I'm over here! Woo! Come here! Too bad. We were thrown out of the cell. I still have lots of things to show you. Oh well, we'll have to save them for another time.